do you often tell yourself this is my me time and I have the right to do it the way I want to do it or I have slogged myself I can order myself a nice desert or you have had such a long day now you deserve this long binge watching spree hi I am Anushri Chatterjee a mental health expert with over 15 years of experience this new year, Aditya Birla Health Insurance and many experts like me will guide you towards quitting unhealthy habits with Be a Quitter, a 15-day health program on your active living community. Today, on day 9 of Be a Quitter, let us focus on how to quit revenge bedtime procrastination. We love to reward ourselves and we find all possible ways to make ourselves feel good about the routine that we have created. We human beings work on the principle of reward and punishment. Our body does exactly what the mind tells it to do. It does not think for its own self. It does not understand whether it's a genuine reward or an illusion created by your own mind to make you feel good. For instance, even after having a heavy dinner, your mind convinces you to have a nice loaded dessert or a cup of coffee to make you feel calm. Coffee is a stimulant. How can it make you calm? This trending term, revenge bedtime procrastination, is about taking up habits that push your bedtime. This eventually means you have shorter sleeping hours and longer waking hours. The word revenge is for all the pain that you go through in the daytime over which you have no control. At night, that's your only time that you have this sense of control. Fill yourself up with impulses, temptations and have this temporary feel-good factor but also comes at a cost. How can you revenge your own choices that you take up in the day? Isn't this unfair that you make choices, good or bad, but they still give you something? These habits have a spillover other areas of your life. For example, shorter resting periods, less productive daytime, gut health and immunity out of the window unnecessary sensory overload which means you will feel overwhelmed all the time imbalances in chemicals and hormones impacting other areas of your life when we say reward it genuinely means that it has good consequences and it is sustainable taking revenge cannot be a reward it is not sustainable because your body will age sooner than you think now, if you want to revenge this habit of procrastination, I have some tips for you. Please move towards a simple and minimalistic living at least majority of the days in the week. Keep your rewards a minority. The quality of your night time is a direct reflection of how much movement you make in the day and how much sunlight you absorb. Use the time before you go to sleep to introspect, to pre-plan for the next day and slow down. It's your life and you owe it to yourself to make better choices. So, chalo, apni koi unhealthy habit ko quit abhi karo.